this is Aussie Pumps quality number one. This is what we call the home of the Australian high pressure water blasting turned into a Jetta program. Started this 20 years ago based on what plumbers told us and now just launched what is absolute ultimate in drain cleaning Jettas. Call this one the Python and you can see it's got a whopping big Bertolini pump on it. Big rib body there so it dispels heat. Fitted with unloader valve, safety valve, etc and powered by the new Honda, the IGX 800. This is regarded as being the finest things that Honda's ever made. A new style of engine and it has the power to drive this big 31 litre, 4,300 PSI pump. The Pythons are designed for bigger drains up to 12 inches and there's a new stainless steel frame that's got loads of strength built into it and of course it's all part of the Aussie Pump program. Now this gentleman we're seeing up here, you can see it's dark in here, that's because it's the end of the afternoon and it's raining outside in fact, Sydney's flooding at the moment. This is the production manager, Mel Patel. Hi Mel, what are you up to? Hello, hi. We're just building our first run off of a new Python with the IGX 800. These are the other top high performance drain cleaning jetter powered by Big Birdie Bertolini pump and the Honda IGX EFI engine. They're very powerful. They're in of a new Cobra version two frame. That's a heavy duty. That's a beautiful design. It looks, it looks very, very smart compared to the others in the market. Correct, and this is the like a 32 mil stainless steel pipe construction, not 25 mil. Why do the boys in the shop call this the Python Deluxe? They have new heavy duty strong frame with the new stainless steel reel. Okay. So it's got all the rings and bell, makes this model a deluxe version of a Python. And the big pump, right? And the big pump. Gearbox drive, of course. Look, I keep looking at those ribs. Um, or the fins, I should say, yes. on this pump and thinking nobody else's pump's got ribs like that. They don't put those sort of big fins in. So this keeps it running cooler, does it? Keeps or, the pumps cooler. On a 40 no. degree day. And if you're running like all day, every day, this machine, it keeps the pumps cool. So you don't cook the pump. It's a very handsome looking beast. I mean, this machine with that new Honda engine, the new stainless steel frame, the big new reels on it, those reels will take more than 60 metres of hose? Yes, you can put up to 75 metre hose on it. Does anybody actually do that? You know, because 75 metres, these machines will normally be ute mounted, won't they, or trailer mounted? Yes, yeah, so because normally plumber mount this machine on the back of a ute tray or a trailer. Okay. And then another remote mini reel which got another 60 meter of hose. So okay. you, you get total 120 meter reach. Okay, now when you mount it, I can see that you've got axles there. Is this where you use the cobra lock to lock it onto the, the trailer or the, the tray? Is it? Yes. So we have designed a cobra lock, which is a special cradle for our drain cleaning jetter to uh, lock it on the back of a ute tray. Mm -hmm. uh, and it secures the machine on a you try the beauty of that is i've noticed where i've seen those cobble locks are mounted on on vehicles that there's a lever on the side what's the lever for so they've got the two arms so if if you want to take a machine off for service or uh, repair it's just easier you just take the two bolts off out of that arm and you lift the arm and you can take the machine off from the So it releases, it's like, it's like a locking device. Locking it? device, yes. Okay, now I believe that you can also padlock it too, can't you? So that Correct, if so you park both, you can have a padlock so when, so you, when you want to open it. So you if you're padlock. at the pub and you've left it on there, you don't come out and suddenly find that your machine's gone. Yes, that's right. I tell you, it'd be pretty heavy to pick it up off the back of a ute, wouldn't it? Even if you had a pair of bolt cutters to cut the padlock. But uh, but gee, what do these things weigh? They must be a, what, 100 Weight kilo? 150 kilo. 150? Yep. Okay, is that when the, when the water tanks fill? I see you've got water tanks, same big stainless steel water tanks on these. Yes. And I also noticed you've got the danger signs to keep uh, people aware of that this is a potentially dangerous animal. Well, pythons are dangerous, aren't they? They tell me. <laughs> da dangerous to block drains anyway. That's right. So tell me, does this go with this safe jetty? Is that all part of the same program that we've developed the free training program for? Yes, training? that's right. We're doing a free safety training for the plumbers or pressure cleaner operator. Part of the program is make a safe jetting and pressure cleaning for, for the industry to save the life, basically. How much is, are you saying it's free? It's absolutely free, yes. But why are you doing it free? Everybody else charges for training. We care about the people in life and their health. Yes, okay. So this is all really about keeping people safe when they're doing it, Correct. right? It's yes. not about certification, it's not about compliance, it's about the human element. 
Yes. I like that. Okay, well, listen, buddy, I'm uh, let you going to go back to work. I see you've got to put the fuel tanks on the next and, and finish the water tanks and so on. Yes. So I guess maybe tomorrow I'll come back and take another look. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, I'm very impressed with the deluxe version. I think it's everything we all are sort of imagined it would look like with all the stainless steel and the optimum components, you know, the best pump in the world, the best frame, the, the best design frame. Compact, what you guys call the cube frame, takes up less room on the back of a ute or truck or any kind of platform than any other machine on the market. That's and right. I don't understand why the others build them so big. It's just like they took a pressure cleaner and stuck a reel on top. Yeah, I think that's just a cost-effective way for them to make a, just a box frame, not, not a compact frame, because this frame, as you can see, it's got a lot of nice curves, yeah. which takes a lot of time and efforts to make them, to make it compact. So, now um, you're, you'll sue anybody who copies this frame? Absolutely, this is of a standard register design, so I okay. don't think so we're going to allow anyone to copy of a frame. Yeah, okay, well I'm amazed that they, the others haven't realised, it just shows you they're preoccupied with, they're still selling the eels or something like that, they don't get it, they don't see what the plumber to see when he actually has to use the machine. Mm -hmm. But listen, I think you guys and your team here, I know you've only got four or five guys here pulling these things together, but I also noticed you've got vanguards over here on the next bench, big vanguard jobs. And what are these, these pythons too? Uh, they those are the python private level. Oh, okay, so they're, uh, but they're a version of our python with the same pump? Correct, yes, okay, same well, spec machine. Okay, well the stingrays are quite famous out there in the market. It's great to see that we're producing big quantities of those too. It's a very good job too. But when I look at these, I look at that reel and I see the big stainless steel tank and the way you've got it set up with that new IGX engine, I just think you and the design team have hit on something here that the plumbers are really going to love. Okay, yeah. thanks very much for your time, Al. Thank you.